I'd like to open this video with a message to some teenagers I played Halo 3 against between 2005 and 2007. When you guys told me, I hope you get cancer or go get cancer, I was skeptical. But today I officially concede you guys got me. Please turn it off if you know how to, but good job. No, seriously, I, I wish there was someone or something I could blame cancer on, but that's not how it works. It's, um, you know, it's something that I've accepted is, you know, just symbiotic to me. It's not something that I am trying to fight. It's something that I am trying to live with and live through and understand that it is going to shape what I'm doing, but I have to take the good out of whatever life I can get. So last time I spoke to you guys, I was a little bit down in the dumps. I was talking to you guys about how my thyroid is getting weird. I was sweating my ass off. That was five days ago on a Wednesday. Since I made that video, I have done nothing but sleep. Um, I am talking with the top endocrinology team in the United States in regard to thyroids, and basically I'm in what they call a thyroid storm. That is a real medical condition. And what it means is my thyroid is in the process of spazzing out on its way to fully dying. Um, because of that, it's creating too much of some hormones, not enough of others, and my body doesn't know what to do. For the last five days, my symptoms have essentially been that I'm either freezing cold or burning up, and I have zero energy. I mean like physical energy, mental energy, I almost like will. There would be times where I was just shivering in my bed and it was like, oh, you should go get another blanket. It's like, well, it's way too far. It's all the way on the other side of the room. It's been really strange. Um, I've lost five more pounds. I'm now down 17 pounds since my diagnosis and uh, I don't have 17 pounds to lose. I'm a very skinny person at this moment. But even in spite of this pain, I, it gave me an opportunity to kind of reflect and take some positivity out of the situation. And th this is something I do want to preface this uh, talk with. Anytime I give mental health um, opinions on cancer, these are, these are mine because I don't want to offend other cancer patients who are coming here for information or for relativity to the experience and hear something that kind of upsets them. I, I think it's perfectly valid and it's something I've heard from other cancer patients when they say there's no positives from cancer. You know, like uh, obviously we all wish we hadn't gotten cancer and you can be super bitter about it. I, I think that's very, very acceptable. Like if, you know, I, I have stage four cancer and it is done a lot of damage to my life and there are people who've you know, had more or worse damage done to theirs. None of this is a, is a comparison of trauma, but I'd like my outlook to be a positive one and to use this experience that I'm going through as something that I can grow from. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Mike Lynn and I'm a stage four metastatic melanoma patient. I make these YouTube videos to help with my mental health and to give information to my friends and family while connecting with other cancer patients and their loved ones to create a broader conversation about living with cancer. Um, so yeah, thyroid storm, that's fun. Um, the next steps from here are I'm gonna get labs done more often. You can see my, vo my voice is super hoarse from this. like. That's not how I usually sound, but I'm gonna get labs done more often. They're gonna wait for my thyroid to essentially fizzle out, and then they will readjust the dosage of Synthroid that I'm on to keep me operating at a functional level. So while this is a really stressful period of time, knowing that there is some sort of end to it in the future, it's you know keeping me a little bit calmer today than I was five days ago. Um, but the optimism that I was talking about comes from the response that my friends, family, and the community that I'm growing here have had over the last five days, but also the last month or, you know, years that I've been dealing with cancer. And it, it shouldn't take something this dire for your kind of belief in your support system to be reinforced. And for me, it, it didn't, but it's always nice when you're, you know, down and out and you have friends, family members, coworkers, neighbors, you know, people who you haven't spoken to in years are, are reaching out and saying, hey, I'm here for you. If there's anything you need, let me know. And uh, even, even people on a lot of the social media platforms where I'm posting, whether it's YouTube or Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or whatever, they, they've all been wonderful. And to me, that's, that's where this can become a workable situation and a situation where I have a life that I want to continue after I hopefully beat cancer. Um, you know, I think I 
have come to terms with the, the fact that cancer is a leading candidate to end my life, but that doesn't mean it has to be anytime soon. And it doesn't mean I have to, you know, live my life as though that's just a destination point I'm gonna hit. There are plenty of stage four cancer patients who have lived 20, 30, 40 years, who have, you know, been cured. And I'm gonna act as though that's the outcome I'm going to get to. I might not, but in order to get there, I need to be hopeful. I need to hear from people who support me. I need to feel that love. And so far it's been fantastic. So if you are someone who's, you know, reached out via one of these videos, thank you. It means a whole lot. Last time I talked about my family's situation with my dad being diagnosed as well. And there was an outpouring of support via comments on that video, which by the way, I never know how to do this right. So I'm gonna just ask right now. If you're still watching, if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel, it would really, really help. Um, I, it has grown a lot over the last few weeks and the community that I'm building is getting even stronger. So if you like this video and subscribe to my channel, it will continue to help grow that. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's actually the messaging I'm going to end this video with is that I'm now seeing opportunities out of this um, diagnosis and the stuff that I'm going through where I hadn't considered them previously. Now that I am able to create videos and, you know, talk about certain topics that I had always wanted to in regard to living the life of a cancer patient, I can see a pathway to doing more of this and to having, you know, advocacy for local cancer patients. Um, I was actually talking with my oncologist and one of the lead nurses at the hospital that I go to here, and I asked them if they would be interested in joining for a couple of videos and in describing some of the uh, different immunotherapy treatments and how your body reacts to it, and they were super excited about it. So stuff like this is helping me keep going in the situation, and I mean I mean that both in a you know YouTube video sense, but also in a getting through cancer at this time sense. Anytime that someone has asked me what the hardest part about cancer the first time was, I, I tell them it, that the conversations weren't real for a lot of it. It was, I wanted to just, you know, blab on about this human experience and I couldn't find a good outlet because it was a scary conversation for myself and a lot of other people at that time. Um, since then, I've, de I've developed the skills personally to do, you know, to have those conversations and now I've found a platform. This has been super, super beneficial to me, and I'm gonna try and continue to grow this to an even greater point. So if you're still watching this, um, thank you so much. It really does mean a lot. Uh, I'm gonna sign off right now because this video is the most uptime I've had in five days. And um, you know, this wasn't a well thought out video. This was just kind of one of those updates I had to get off my chest, but there's gonna be you know, better produced, better thought out, and um, hopefully, more positive updates soon. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.